I'm not a businessman. It's not saying I can't do business. I just don't like doing business. And honestly, I like to think most people are like that. Um, and they get lost in the fact that they have to be business people to get what they want in life. And that sucks. It's a shame. It, a lot of great things don't get a chance to blossom because you just don't keep an open mind. I can't remember exactly what uh, kind of made me go on this brain path or whatever. But um, main thing is I am more of a collaborator. I absolutely love collaborating. Um, if you've noticed from what work I have shown, the people that you've seen me, you know, do videos with, oh, that's when you actually see like true me. I'm much more optimistic and pumped up and stuff. Uh, worked with uh, Malachi Grubb, who's now doing his own. Um, can't even think of what it's called. Engineering company. But before that, he was doing his own YouTube channel called Family and Fit. I know it wasn't meant on purpose, but I kind of felt like I was left in the dust. That's fine. I mean, it was just great to work with him in the grand scheme. I mean, obviously, you know, there's pros and cons, but I love working with people that have hope in them that have ambition, who want to accomplish great things. I like helping people see the best in themselves and accomplish their goals. <laughs> You'll see that in everything I do in my entire life. That's just who I am. You'll see that even at my nine to five job at CVS. Yeah, it's a mundane and kind of pointless job. But a lot of people that I work with, you can tell that they just don't see themselves in a leadership role. They don't, they think less of themselves. So I like to prove them wrong. Now, will that have work 100% of the time? No, but I like to think I do a pretty good job at it. And like I said, that shows through my entire life. Um, my whole relationship with my wife um, has been that. Um, it's, it's, I don't even know where to begin with my wife. But I like to think she thinks a lot better of herself, has her head on more straight and thinks things through. I like to think I helped with that because um, my biggest complaint in the whole relationship was just independence. Like, obviously, I love being together, but you need to have independent strength to be strong together. That way, if one is just having a really hard time in their lives, the whole thing doesn't just fall apart and you become homeless, you know? You gotta have someone to lean on, someone strong enough to lean on themselves if need be. Uh, the Mary Beth situation, she was kind of already good on her own, but she wanted to branch out and kind of enter the internet realm. Um, that was a good opportunity for me to grow too, because it was my first time actually really working with local business. Yeah, before that, it was a coffee shop, but. Mary Beth was a con consistent client. And there was always talk about working with other people, other business owners. I don't like doing business, but business owners do have their goals. They, I mean, the owners, most of the time, got into that business because that's something they genuinely want. So, no, I'm not a business person, but I am a collaborator. I mean, the coffee shop I collaborated with too, and I helped them, you know, open up their new, like, 
food situation. Lots of music artists I've worked with trying to help them, you know, really see themselves as is the stream artist, you know, not just some random person doing music because yeah, everyone makes music, but I feel like seeing themselves in a music video really kind of brings it, brings the reality to life and like really boosts that motivation. Um, there was the videographer, Jake, which congrats on him. I mean, he, he got himself like a full-time gig, but, um, that was like really the first true videographer I worked with and, um, really just kind of kicked that up a notch and wanting to, to collaborate with other creatives because I think everyone, I think everyone wants to be collaborators, but creatives, I feel like have it more prevalent in the mind instead of the business. They still have that business click, but they're more open to the idea of collaboration. And when that idea of collaboration is more open, everything is less tense and more enjoyable and things, you really get to see things bloom and explode in ways that were never really felt possible. I'm not saying a business owner has to be creative, but they need to be supportive. You know, they can't just think about themselves. Like, who I am, I will always do my best to give more than whatever I'm given. <laughs> and there's caveats to that, but I am, I have grown up to be new set. I'm also been grown, I've grown up to be not really supported. Um, but <laughs> if you're giving a lot and not getting a lot from really anywhere, the creative, the collaborator, the person that's trying to, to make all these people's dreams come true, it's hard for them to just not die in the process, uh, which is definitely something I'm struggling with. <sighs> yeah, I don't know where to go past that. I just felt like this needed to be said. Um, sorry about the serious piece or whatever. Uh, sorry, I haven't really been uploading a lot, but uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for staying subscribed. I do have a lot of material that I have like in the works. It's just, I'm summing up this wedding and it's been a little bit more draining than, than wanted. I'm still in debt and um, I just started doing this business video thing, which the communication hasn't been super transparent, so yeah, I'm sorry, just give me a, a month or two more and maybe I can be back to a little bit more consistency, but um, thank you for watching, till next time, see you on the flip side. Here goes. Here goes. Here goes. Here goes.